Hello friends, in this session we will discuss about how to find minimum depth of a given binary tree. As per the definition, as per the problem statement, the minimum depth is number of nodes in the shortest path from root node down to the nearest leaf node. So in this given binary tree example, the shortest path is 3, 9. Number of nodes in this shortest path is 3 and 9 which is 2. So the minimum depth is 2. Now we'll discuss about our algorithmic approach. One of the simplest approach to find minimum depth of a given binary tree is by using level order traversal. While doing level order traversal, we will identify the first occurring leaf node and the depth of the first occurring leaf node is minimum depth of a given binary tree. If you take this binary tree as an example, we'll start with 10 and then we'll check is this a leaf node? Definitely not. It has children. And then we'll move to 8. We'll check is this leaf node? Definitely it's not a leaf node. And then we'll check is it leaf node? We'll move to node 9. We'll check is it leaf node? Yes, it is leaf node. It does not have any children. So now this depth is going to be minimum depth of a given binary tree. So the depth as per definition is number of nodes in this shortest path from root node to leaf node. So the depth here is 1 and here is 2 which is minimum depth of given binary tree. We are not going to discuss how we are going to implement level order traversal completely in this video. In case if you are not familiar with how to implement level order traversal. I have included the reference video in the description. Please watch once. At high level, we are going to use a queue to perform level order traversal. By default, we will add the root node into the queue. So not only the node, we also add we also track depth of each node we add into the queue. In this case, depth is 1. Now, we'll iterate through this queue until the queue is null. We will dequeue in the iteration, we'll dequeue each node. Check whether this node is a leaf node or not. In case the node is leaf node, its depth is going to be minimum depth. If not, add its children to Q. While adding, we'll add left child first and then right child first. Now, let's perform iteration. So now we'll pop out 10, we'll DQ 10, and we'll check 10 is leaf node, no. So we'll add its children into Q, and we'll start with left, eight, its depth is 2 here. Similarly, we'll add right node, its depth is 2. And again, we will DQ, 8 will come, which is not a leaf node. We'll add its children into Q along with its depth. So now we'll DQ next node, which is 9, which is leaf node, its depth is 2, which is minimum depth of given binary tree. Now let's write a code for this. In order to save some time, I have created skeleton code already. Here is a new class, minimum depth of binary tree, created an inner class, which is static to represent binary tree node elements. So the class name is node. It has couple of member variables, data of integer type, which represent node value left and right represents given node children there is a constructor which will take node value as an input and assigns to data variable now let's implement find minimum depth first we'll check is given root node is null if root double equal to null we'll simply return zero as a minimum depth of binary tree and then our next step is declare a queue add each node into the queue but this is in normal level order traversal 
in this case in this example along with node we also need to track node depth so for that reason we need a wrapper class so we'll create a static class it's called q item so in this we'll have two member variables one node to, to keep track of node reference and its depth we'll create a constructor also node temp int div now node is temp will be assigned to node depth dep will be assigned to depth so now let's define a queue of q item type as a first step add the root node into q q dot add now create wrapper class object q item here pass root node and depth as one by default root node depth is one so now let's iterate this this queue until q is empty so we'll use while loop the exit condition is the while loop will run as long as q is not empty so q dot is empty q is not empty this while loop will run so in this let's dequeue an element so q dot remove which returns the element will store it into temporary node called q item so now what we do we will check is it leaf node if q item dot node dot left double equal to null and q item dot node dot right double equal to null in this case it is leaf node simply return its depth return q item dot depth so this is minimum depth now if given node is not a leaf node add its left child first into the queue and then right child so check is left child exists if q item dot node dot left not equal to null in such case create new q item and add it into q so q dot add so here we'll create new q item and we'll pass q item dot node dot left and its depth will increment depth with one step q item dot depth plus one so now we apply same logic on right shield also if right shell exists we'll add it into q So once we are out of this while loop, return depth as zero. In order to save some time, I have already created a main method. I have already created binary tree structure here. This structure is exactly same as what we have seen in our algorithmic discussion. So now we are making a call to find minimum depth method and its return value is stored into temporary variable and we are printing it here now let's run and see the result we expect minimum depth as 2 for this example thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel